Hey guys, what's going on? This is Boride back with another video. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make this pretty nice looking um grocery store. So this is just a little showcase of it. And well let's get right into the building of it. Alright, so if you guys want to build this, or at least something like it, then uh, here's how. So we're going to start off with the big glass area. So the dimensions of this wall right here, this is nine blocks here. Yeah, this is nine, nine blocks. So let's do that. Bam, there you go, nine blocks. Put your carpets in front of it. And then take it back. We're gonna find out how many blocks you take it back because I don't remember. Okay, you take it back five blocks. So, bam. Bam. You also wanna repeat another one of these on the other side, which is, so there, there are five blocks in this area and the quartz pillar is one block out from this glass wall meaning let's grab our quartz and we're going to put the quartz here and then just so we know what we're doing one two three four five quartz Eight, nine, bam, five, five, boom, okay, now, you also need quartz here, and here, and next step is pretty much make this 12 blocks tall so it's already one so two three four five six seven eight nine ten excuse me eleven twelve and basically just raise the whole thing up to that height oh also do not raise these five glass blocks up. This is where the entrance will be. These these will go somewhere else. Just just hold on with those. Keep them there though. Okay, so I've raised one side up, and something else you might want to do is on the sixth block up, so one, two, three, four, five, six, you can put stone slabs here if you want to. This is, it doesn't really matter, it just, I feel like it makes it look a little better. So like that. And uh, I'm going to raise the other side up now. Boom. And just like that, there, you're done this. And now you also, you might want to bring the quartz up like that, I think. Is it? Hold on. Hold on. Don't. Hold on. Yes. One block up. One block up from the glass. And put it, pull it back here. And pull this back. And pull this back, and then connect these two, 
And then, yep, you guessed it, pull this back too. All right, and you're also gonna wanna fill in these little top areas with glass as well. So we're just gonna quickly do that. And there you go. You got these two things done, okay? Now for the middle part. Now, the middle part, it's on the sixth block, which is where we have the slab. There's quartz going through, and then one block in, there is more glass. And down here, there's glass panes, which really you don't necessarily have to have, but I mean, I, I think it looks cool, so you can if you want. And when you're connecting these two, it's both blocks. You can also get rid of this now. And then the glass panes go here. And then the glass goes here. There we go. Then was the quartz, did it go like this? Yeah, it did. Okay. And if you want this, you don't really have to do this. This is something I thought while I want, like just before I made the video, is putting in, like that's like the logo for the shop. It's supposed to look like an S, but it really doesn't. But there's that. And you're also gonna wanna pull these back as well at the bottom here. There. And boom. Glass part pretty much done, I guess, yeah. And uh, you can put in, these are honeycomb blocks back there. I think they look cool. This is just gonna be little showcases and stuff. Nothing really too important. And you can also put carpets here if you want. I just did, because I think it looks nice. You don't really have to. I mean, you don't really have to do anything I'm saying. Your choice, I really don't care. Um, so yeah, that's this whole glass part done. And I don't feel like building an entire new set of walls and roof. So I'm just gonna show you how to make these windows and stuff. Also bushes. I use three different types of leaves. Um, oak, jungle, and acacia. And then I put bone meal and I added these double tall flowers, peony, lilac, and rosebush. Again, those are just, just to spice up the area. But to make these windows, you're going to need stained glass, uh, stained carpet, or stained carpet, carpet of probably the same color, and barriers. Uh, the thing about barriers is you need to use a command to get them. You do slash give. Uh, you can do at A, at P, at S. At A is all players, at P is closest players, and at S is yourself. And then barrier. I'll use that autofill thing. And there you go. Now I have two. So, that's how you get barriers, and these windows are just simply, here I'll just do one here. Let's just make a, a little prototype wall, I guess. Okay. Uh, and then go two blocks up, break where you want the window, place your barriers here, and well put your glass in first and I suggest using full glass blocks you don't I mean I guess you don't have to but if you're putting the carpets full glass blocks look a lot better and also like obviously uh, panes do look a lot better in most buildings just for this the regular glass works too I'm also gonna want to put a row of barriers here. Then put your carpets on top of the barriers. There you go. You got your, your window. 
So now, you, you, if you were following this, you've now built a big glass entryway with showcase areas, your logo if you wanted to. You now know how to build uh, windows. I also just put quartz inside the corners of the wall and the walls, the, the walls I did if you want to copy them. It's just two blocks of a lighter variant of any colored block and then a uh, regular color all the way up but then the very top one is also the light one and then you just put your stone your smooth stone slabs on top so I'll just do this and then you get your quartz and put it there and put it there and that's a wall right there oh right and above the windows I also liked doing this and then obviously you'd have the rest of your wall here I liked putting a little line there for no reason other than decoration adding a little bit spicing up the walls I guess but yeah that's pretty much it um, you can add all kinds of stuff if you want. That's all for like the front area on the walls. Um, the back area, I put some vines, which are really easy to do. Literally, vines, you just, I'll use this as an example. Just put a block there. And then go down, you know, kind of go out a bit if you want. You can also break that if you want, and then do that. You can do another one. Make sure they're not symmetrical or it might look weird. And there, there's one vine. Place them wherever you want. Doesn't really matter. And there you go. There's that. And now I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk about the decoration on the roof, which it's pretty self-explanatory. It's pretty simple. Not too much to it and anyone can do it. It's pretty easy. I also use stone as my roof because I preferred the stone as the roof instead of the light, ter light blue terracotta. But obviously, as, as it, like everything in this video, you can choose what you want to do because I'm not gonna judge you because I don't care. That sounded rude. That wasn't supposed to sound as rude as it did. Anyway, uh, to do to do those decorations, it's just smooth stone. Just make like lines, kind of add little things like this. Put blast furnaces on all the ends, and there you got some pipes and vents and stuff. Let's do all kinds of stuff. You can do like it doesn't really matter. You can just be creative, do whatever. If you're creative, you can do it. If you're not, I mean, you're watching this tutorial, so you still can. So there you go, anyone can do it. And you can also put furnaces like that. This is like the oldest trick in the book. Furnaces like that, rails on top. Looks pretty good. And you can also do like three. Do like that. And Another thing I did with the smooth stone is that as like a vent going up and down. Because if you did it too high, it would just look really weird. Uh, I don't like that. If you guys like it, then go for it. I don't really like it. That's just my preference on that. Another thing I did on the roof is just add some pistons like that. I don't know what they are, but... They look pretty nice, so they exist for uh, no purpose other than that. I also put some like chests and stuff on top. Just, you know, random, whatever the heck. Put them wherever the heck you want. Sorry, I gotta keep this PG content. I can't say the heck word. So just do whatever, you know, mess around. Place 
a billion chests if haha uh, <laughs> a billion chests if you want but I wouldn't recommend it I don't know why I did that uh well I mean other than that that's pretty much it and um I went through that very quickly one because I just wanted to get this video done two it's been a long day and three I've been trying to record this for a while and four I didn't want to spend like two more hours building an entire freaking like thing again it just would have been annoying so that's uh yeah that's it for this um oh I also put some stone slabs on top of this glass again doesn't really matter. I just kind of like it. Excuse me. So, recap. Nine blocks wide. Five blocks. Two things of quartz here. This is four blocks tall with your logo in the middle if you want. Another nine slabs. And that strip of quartz is on the sixth block because this is 12 blocks tall. You put the carpets in between the carts. This goes back five from here, meaning I actually, there's six blocks here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Quartz here too, if you want. And carpets if you want again. Walls, remember barriers under the carpets. Put the glass first so it's easier to place these barriers and carpets up here. If you want, put that strip of the lighter block on top, put some bushes, put some greenery, vines, add some vents on the roof, and there you go. You have a pretty nice looking grocery store. And that's going to be it for today. I change my outro every time, and I'm going to keep doing that until I make an outro, which I haven't yet, so too bad. So... I uh, hope you enjoyed. I hope that at least one person out there uses this for something. Even if it's literally just the logo. Uh, so, hey, if you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't like it, leave a like anyway. Press that subscribe button because yeah, why not? Hit that bell because why not again? And, uh, well, I'll uh, see you guys in the next video next week. Later.